Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft pushes using Windows Allow Authentication quite hard in the Windows operating system. And in Windows 11, if we head to our accounts and settings, sign-in options, yeah, you get facial recognition, fingerprint, pin, security key, and so on, which is basically using biometrics or a pin to sign into Windows. Now, in regards to these different sign-in options, according to a post by the register, which I'll leave linked in the description, Two security researchers have demonstrated a flaw in Windows Allow at the Black Hat conference in Las Vegas. And just to give you a quick overview, check the article out if you want some more information. The research team demonstrated how a hacker could inject biometrical data into a Windows PC to unlock the system. And basically they found a flaw in the Crypt Protect Data database. And what this does is it secures authentication information. The flaw requires administrative access or some other form of elevated access to the system, as an example via a malware infection. So that's just a brief overview as to how they managed to unlock a system. Check the article out for more info. But the good news is the researchers did note that Windows PC users have two options to protect their devices against this specific attack. The first is using Windows Hello Enhanced Sign-In Security, ESS for short. And basically what this is, is when ESS is enabled, the hack is not possible. And ESS is activated by default, provided that your PC meets all the requirements. Now mine doesn't. So because of this, I'm going to head over to an image to give us a general idea. So the easiest way to check your machine supports ESS is to go to your system settings, accounts, sign-in options, and here you'll see a setting if it is supported. Under additional settings, sign in with an external camera or fingerprint reader. Uses Windows alone without enhanced sign-in security. And when the switch is off, ESS is active. So that's the default setting. And if you turn this toggle on, you actually disable enhanced sign-in security, which means your camera or fingerprint reader will work, but at the cost of extra security. So that's one way you can obviously help protect your system against this type of attack. And another way, which is quite simple, and the option I use, is use a PIN instead of facial or fingerprint recognition. So basically instead of biometrics. So if you use a PIN, switching to a PIN instead of using biometrics is another option according to the researchers. And according to the researchers and the post, Microsoft hasn't responded yet and it says that the issue is going to be difficult to fix because it would require a significant code rewrite or other change such as using TPM to store the said biometric data. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch. So I thought I'd just post this quick video. If you are concerned about something like this, two ways you can check and try and protect your system against such an attack. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.